Good morning. Uh, thank you for joining us for these 12 days of Christmas devotions uh, put together by Prince of Peace Lutheran Church. As we thought about what was going to be going on for so many of us, socially distanced, not able to get together for the holidays, we thought, well, let's make it a little more personal. And so uh, welcome to, to our home. Uh, these devotions can be found online at our website at Prince of Peace, as well as a downloadable devotion that includes a daily scripture and a prayer and some suggestions how you might use these devotions in a, in a variety of different family styles. Um, Christmas uh, comes with a lot of memories, doesn't it? That's the way it uh, rolls at our house. And my fondest memories have to do uh, with being right here in this room on, on Christmas Day. This is what it looked like in our house and still does at the Wilsons. We would get up and have some eggs and bacon uh, cooked in Grandma's cast iron stillet every year, kind of catching us back. Uh, and the kids, uh, knowing that there would be gifts right underneath the tree and chomping to go, uh, they were forced uh, to, to endure this little ritual. We would light the candles uh, on our Advent wreath, including the Christ candle for its Christmas day. And then um, we would read the Christmas story, the same one that is in our devotions for Luke 2, and I hope you'll take time to read it today. And then, um, as it turns out, who wouldn't want to be the person to put baby Jesus in the manger? Uh, we had two sons, and so, um, well, good news in our house, we had lots of creches, lots of nativities, and a lot of Jesus, which is plural for Jesus, I think. And so we would put them all over the house. And as any um, good magician knows, it, it's really important to have a, a beautiful assistant. And so, uh, Anne, thank you for uh, putting baby Jesus into, into our mangers. Uh, while she's doing that, uh, let me say that there's no song that connects me more to Christmas Day than Away in a Manger. And I know it's a favorite of yours. There, frankly, is a lot wrong with it. Let's, let's take that really quickly. Um, it's got a heresy right in the middle of it. Uh, one of the first five heresies of the church is called docetism. Uh, and here's, docetism basically means that Jesus was divine, but he was not really human. And of course, the church quickly asserted that, that Jesus was fully God and fully human. And right in the middle of this wonderful way in a manger is no crying he makes. And let's be honest about it, that's, that's not a baby. And maybe right now as you're doing this devotions, there's a baby crying in your background, which probably is worrisome to you, but for many of us it would be music to our ears. Um, and I was taught as a child that Martin Luther wrote the, the text to a way in a manger. In fact, in many places it's just called Luther's Cradle Song. Well, as it turns out, he did not. Uh, it first appeared in a Lutheran hymnal, in the Evangelical Lutheran Church hymnal in North America in 1885. And it was listed then as anonymous. But in Cincinnati in 1887, in a little song book for public sale, and I love this title, it was called Dainty Songs for Little Lads and Lasses. Um, it had a little subnote underneath it, uh, probably to sell to a lot of German immigrants who had just been filling up Cincinnati as well. Uh, composed by Martin Luther for his children and still sung by German mothers to their little ones. <laughs> uh, probably not. But it does carry that kind of power for us. It's a, it's a holy American tune. Uh, so there are, for the first time in, in many, many, many years, in our one hymnal, two melodies for the song. Uh, one is written by James R. Murray, and we'll talk about him tomorrow. He's kind of an eccentric guy who wrote some other wonderful Christmas songs. But there's also a second tune, both North American. When you dig into it, there's actually 41 different cultural tunes to Away in a Manger, which I think speaks to its popularity. I'm not sure the order that we're going to sing these, but we're going to hear two versions today, and I'm, I hope that one of them will be your favorite. Uh, Samantha Reeves will be singing the Cradle Song, and then the other tune will be sung from uh, Prince of Peace's choir in concert from 2019 in their Christmas concert. I hope that one of them is your favorite, and you'll enjoy singing along one or both of them with us. Merry Christmas to you. I hope you'll join us tomorrow on the second day of Christmas.